Hey, welcome to day nine and good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. We're so glad that you joined us. It is day nine, December 9th, and our devotional for today comes out of Luke chapter two, verse one. I think this is an especially appropriate verse for this day and age that we live in, a time when the government seems to be overstepping their bounds, seems to be overreaching in some cases, seems to be clamping down on our ability to worship our Lord and Savior the way that we want. But I want to share something interesting with you. Look at this scripture, Luke chapter 2. If you have your devotional card, grab it. If not, uh, it looks like this, and I'll read the scripture to you. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Now, in order to take an accurate census, which really meant closing a tax loophole. If people were moving around from city to city, village to village, it was possible that they would get missed in the count. Therefore, they wouldn't be held responsible for paying their taxes. Caesar Augustus wanted to make sure that that loophole was closed. And so he ordered that everyone goes back to their ancestral hometown and therefore they could be counted accurately. Now, that meant a long walk, a long trip. It was a big deal to get there. It wasn't something very easy for Mary and Joseph to do. Um, but God used this. God used Caesar Augustus and his order to fulfill biblical prophecy. And I think that is an amazing way that God works all things for his purposes, whether we can understand it at the time or not. We have the ability to trust in him. Now, the action step for you is, is I think, one that will probably be fairly easy. Can you think of a time when the government passed a law that maybe at first seemed like it was a bad thing, but later turned out to be something that God used for his purposes, whether in your life or someone else's or, or in the, the, for the betterment of the nation? I think if we think about that, we can come up with some times. Again, it helps with our ability to trust in God. So our fun family activity for the day is talk about a family holiday tradition or maybe make a new one. Our family goes Christmas tree cutting up in the mountains. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is so fun and it's a tradition that's near and dear to my heart. What are yours? Comment below. Uh, let us know some of the fun things your family does uh, or maybe start a new tradition if you don't have one. God bless. We'll talk to you tomorrow.